dry eye is an abnormality of the ocular surface uh, that has many reasons uh, to occur and it causes a variety of symptoms. Uh, patients might feel the discomfort occasionally, uh, typically is relieved by blinking, or might feel the eyes going gritty and a foreign body sensation. Also, the vision can be affected because the ocular surface needs to be smoothly moistened in order to effectively work uh, as a lens to provide a, a good quality and, and sharp vision. So it, it, it is intermittent uh, grittiness, uh, particularly when uh, a, a person is concentrated, like uh, watching TV or reading uh, for a long time. During these uh, uh, times, there is less blinking and this disrupts even more the ocular surface. As the eye dries up, there is a feeling of having a, a bit of dust in the eye, there are also itchiness and a sense of tiredness. Uh, in more severe cases, uh, the vision might go blurred, uh, both for distance and vision, and, and, and near vision. It's a, a little bit of aging, um, which tends to, to disrupt the production of the components of the tear film, particularly the oily uh, component of the tear film, which is important to stabilize the tear film itself. But also inflammation, there are some, some inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or other um, inflammatory conditions that affect the joints that can uh, uh, cause dry eyes, a lot of medications. Uh, tablets, but also eye drops, and particularly eye drops that contain preservatives, and many of them are used for glaucoma. And the long use of these um, agents disturbs the, the, the tear film. Diet might also play a role. Uh, smoking is very important. Uh, it provides an, an environment uh, uh, adverse to the quality of the tear film. A careful assessment uh, of the ocular surface is required. So the patient is brought to the slit lamp, which, which is the equipment where typically the head is positioned and um, the chin is rest on it, and the chin rests, and then the light is shown onto the eye. And, and a blue light can also be used in conjunction with the uh, <clears throat> fluorescent, which is an, an orange eye drop. Uh, which fluoresces under illumination with blue light. And this allows you to detect abnormalities of the tear film, the time that the tear film breaks up when there is no blinking, typically should be 15 seconds. In dry eyes, it's well below 10 seconds. And also, uh, if the eye dry is more severe, uh, abnormalities of the cornea, which is the, the first lens uh, of the eye, uh, at the front of the eye, the transparent tissue uh, that covers the iris, which is the color part of the eye. One could use um, um, lubricating drops, which tend to balance uh, the uh, tear film uh, when it's compromised. And there are a variety of them. Uh, some use uh, natural agents, uh, such as uh, the hyaluronic acid, uh, other, others use uh, uh, a, a catcher of fluid, so that acts as, as, as a volume. Uh, also, treating any underlying inflammation is important. Any other associated uh, uh, risk factor, uh, for instance, uh, uh, people with uh, skin conditions like uh, eczema or rosacea, they tend to have a uh, uh, dry eyes, so treating those uh, uh, those conditions is also important. We can use anti-inflammatory eye drops, but steroids can have side effects, and we can step up treatments uh, with the more modern anti-inflammatory uh, drops that um, are effectively immunosuppressants, but because they are delivered as uh, eye drops only, they don't have any uh, side effects for the rest of the body.
you can control your environment uh, if the, if you can reduce uh, the level of dust in your environment or anything that can cause uh, um, allergy. Uh, if you have animals, if you have carpets, uh, be very uh, methodical with cleaning, uh, cleaning your, your, your carpet, carpets. And have your environment uh, moist and appropriately, particularly in winter when uh, uh, there is a lot of use of central heating. In addition, uh, one can uh, uh, treat uh, the eye factors, so the production of the tear film compromised by abnormal oily production. In the eyelids, there are a number of glands, they're called meibomia glands, so they produce the oily component of the tear film. That oily film protects the uh, tear film from evaporation. Conditions like rosacea, they disrupt that oily production. Uh, blepharitis, which is like a smoldering inflammation of the eyelid margin, does that as well. So uh, applying a bit of heat on uh, the eyelids for three to five minutes, then rolling the fingers on the eyelids to squeeze out the liquefied uh, oil, thanks to the heat application, that's called massage, and then some cleansing with dedicated uh, uh, cleansing solutions, especially down at bedtime, that helps a lot. It's uh, not completely preventable. Uh, think of it like having dandruff. You can control it, but you don't really get rid of it. Uh, so what can be prevented is the symptoms of the dry eyes, from the discomfort, the waking up with itchy eyes and the sticky eyelids and, and the gritty eyes, but also the blur vision that uh, sometimes comes with it. And this is with the measures of cleaning the um, eyelids at bedtime or twice a day, more severe, more severe cases. But the patient has to persevere with this daily. It has to be a routine like brushing your teeth before going to bed.